So today we're going to finish up our discussion on time signatures. And then we're going to talk about tuplets. So just as a quick review, we talked about simple versus compound time signatures. Simple time signatures had a two, three, or four in the top. And compound signatures had a six, nine, or 12 in the top. And the main difference between these is that simple meter gets divided in, the, the, the basic beat gets divided into two. And in compound meter, the basic beat, which ends up being a dotted rhythm of some kind, uh, gets divided into three compound. Uh, the last thing we're going to talk about is irregular meter, which, uh, as the name suggests, is irregular, not always the same. There's not a pattern necessarily that we can follow, but you've probably seen some of these, things like 5-8, 7-8, maybe you've seen something like 11-16, something strange like that. Let's focus on 5-8 and 7-8 for a second, talk about what's going on here. A good way to think of irregular meter is groups of twos and threes. Um, so let's let's look at some examples. So five eight, five. We can get to five by adding two plus three. So if we were to write that, remember we're in five eight, so we're using eighth notes. We have five eighth notes in our measure. So two looks like that. Three looks like that. You can kind of think of this as a mixture of simple and compound, if you want to. So we have Now we can also get to five by adding three plus two. So we could switch those. Similar, but different. And the trick with this is that you kind of need to look at the beaming or the accents in a piece or maybe where the lyrics fall, how it falls naturally, um, because that's how you're going to figure out how, how these bars should be thought of. 7-8, uh, we could have 2 plus 2 plus 3, so that looks like da 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 oops, that's 2 plus 3. Da, 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 da. Bup, 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 We could have two plus three plus two. Da, 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 da. You get the picture. You could you could do different things with this. Um, you can continue to be creative with these. Eleven sixteen. Since we wrote that one down, let's see how can we get to eleven. I'm making this up as we go along. So we could have a three plus a two. So we're at five now. Maybe we add plus three plus three. All right. So we have three, two, three, three. Bup 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 And these, of course, would be sixteenth notes because eleven sixteen. So. When you find uh, irregular meter, which we see these have numbers in the top like 5, 7, 11, are prime numbers. Uh, when you see these, um, if you want to break them down into simpler constituents, this is how you would do it. So that's irregular meter. Um, now we're going to look at tuplets. Tuplets. So, um, the tuplet that we're most familiar with is the triplet, which looks like this. Little bracket with a three over it. Now, a triplet is a group of three notes, right? But uh, you'll notice that in compound, our basic beat was three notes, three beam notes. We didn't put a three over it. That's because we were in compound time and we were dividing it into three anyway. The thing with tuplets is we're replacing the beats that should be there. In, in a way, you can think of this as barring compound time. So let's rewind a little bit. Let's put ourselves into 4-4 um, four, four here. So say I'm going along, I've got my first beat, I've got my second beat. 
let's say for the third beat of the measure, instead of dividing my quarter note into two eighth notes, I want to divide it into three eighth notes for a second. I put in a little triplet. So this takes as much time as this. So we have, if our beat is one, two, ready, go, bop, 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 That's what a triplet is. Um, you think of it as borrowed compound time. It's not necessarily the only way to think of it. Um, so that's the triplet. The other one that we're very familiar with is the duple, which is kind of the opposite. So to use the duple, we would start out in compound time. Say I'm going along. Here's my first measure. In my second measure, I want, instead of dividing my dotted quarter note into three, I want to divide it into two. So I borrow from simple meter for a second, and then go back to compound. So this might be This takes just as much time as that does, but I'm dividing the beat differently. So this <clears throat> um, concept can be taken further, and that's kind of what I want to look at for the rest of the video. Because really what's happening with tuplets is we're uh, dividing a single note into different numbers of equal beats. So let's take a single note and look at how many times we can do this. Well, actually, spoiler alert, you can do it forever in theory, but we're not going to go forever. So here's our, here's our one. Now, if we're thinking in simple meter, that's our two. We don't have to do anything special if we want to divide it into two equal parts. If we want to divide this note, by the way, we're dividing this note into equal parts. We're going to divide it into three equal parts now. To notate that, we have to write that. If we want to divide a quarter note into four equal parts, that's something we've already discussed, actually. We have sixteenth notes. Now what if I want to divide my quarter note into five equal parts? I'm going to write that like this. Call that a quintuplet. And you do see these sometimes even in Chopin, and maybe especially in Chopin. Six, we do the same thing. We write six little notes, and we put a six over it. Sex tuplets are a little bit um, confusing because you can think of this actually as being an extension of this, in which case your beat is, you need to think of da 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 da, da because this corresponds to that. So it's kind of like an extension of your triplet. Um, but you could also think of it as connected to this and have three at a time replace the two eighth notes, which would be kind of turning each of these notes into a triplet of its own. So sex tuplets can be felt differently. Um, don't worry too much about that, but it's just, you know, something that's interesting. Our septuplet Same kind of program here. And then if we want to divide it into eight, we have graduated to 30 second notes. And that's just a normal. We don't have to write anything for that. That's part of our normal nomenclature. Um, so it, let's say we start with a beat. Let's say our beat is like, We, we can divide that beat into all of these. So I'm going to do that right now to show you what's going on. Bum, 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 bum. I'm going to count them. One, two, 
That is what we're doing. So I, we didn't change the beat. Well, maybe I changed the beat. Um, tried to stay as steady as I could. Um, but we we're just dividing it into different equal parts each time. So this is how you're going to write these if you're in simple meter. Say in like 4-4 four, four time, this is how you'd write a triplet, this is how you'd write a quintuplet. It's a little bit different in compound meter. So let's look at those. So our... Um, basic division in compound meter is this. So this is what we're dividing. So if we want that to be divided into two, we have to write that. Technically, you don't see this very often, technically it's this. Um, that's how you divide that by two, two dotted eighth notes. Just one dot, not two. Uh, but it's usually just write it, written <laughs> like this. For three, because we're in compound meter, you don't have to put the three on top. See over here we had to add the three because it's not normal in the meter. Here it is normal. For now here's where we get a little different as well. We don't switch over, see over here we switched over to 16th notes. Over here we stick with our eighth notes and we write a four. To divide it into five, we still keep our eighth notes and write a five over them. Now for six, this is when we switch over to our 16th notes. And we don't have to write a six over it because this falls into the meter. See how I showed you over here, three and six were connected. Over here, three and six are also connected in the same way. But they're, they're normal in compound meter, so we don't need to write a six above it. But what we're doing is this equals that. So it's just an extension of the group of three. And then for seven, it's pretty much the same. For eight, we, we would stay with 16th notes. We wouldn't go to 32nd notes yet. And I'm gonna skip ahead here a little bit. Nine. Generally, if you're trying to fit nine beats in here, you're going to have something that looks like this. These are triplets. So overall it's nine, but these are 16th note triplets. This refers back to this. You're taking each one of these eighth notes and tripletizing them. So that's how you normally do that. We're going to skip 10, 11. There's just, you write a 10 over it, write an 11 over it. By the time we get to 12, that's when we're to 30 second notes. There's 12 of these. 12 30 second notes. Which, of course, again, goes back to this basic division of our beat, taking each eighth note, dividing it four times, and we get 12. So again, we can do the same thing with compound meter. So our basic beat is like this. Go slow for this one. One, two, three, four. So we have one, 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 two. So this is a duple now. One, two, one. Now here's our basic beat. One, two, three, 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 four, 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 five. One, two, three, four, five. And you get the picture. We could go through and do all of this. So we're just 
dividing the beat into different basic beats. So the, the difference between simple and compound is not really the difference of dividing, it's the difference in how you write it because of what your basic beat is, whether it's this or this. And from there you have to borrow because four notes filling in a beat is not normal in compound time, but it is normal in simple time. Um, and that's pretty much tuplets. You can, of course, do this. We, we, we started with a quarter note, or a dotted quarter note for compound time. You can start with, say, you want to divide a half note into equal beats. You can do this same exercise. First you have quarter notes. Then you would have quarter note triplets. Uh, well, I don't have space for that. Let's write it over here. So you want a, a three over that. Uh, basically, it's the same pattern, right? But here we had eighth notes. Now it's quarter notes because we're one value higher. And if we did a whole note, then it would be half notes, triplet half notes, so on and so forth. So for instance, if you have a measure of 4-4 four, four, and you want triplets over the whole measure, that's what you would write because a whole note takes up the full measure. So it is good to know these as well, even though I'm not going to write them all out to understand how they're divided. Um, and that's that's tuplets. So um, next time we are going to take all of this rhythm stuff we've learned um, and apply it to actual scores of music, um, to understanding it, analyzing it, and important things like how to count yourself in and those kinds of things. So, until next time.